Excel has some awesome new functions for splitting text. In this video, we're going to take a look at text split versus text before and after and see which one is best. So Microsoft recently released three new text functions that help us with text splitting tasks in Excel. These are the functions here, and I've been using them over the last few weeks. And you might be surprised to know which one is my new favorite. Uh, it's not text split, although text split is awesome, and I'm going to show how it works. I've actually been using text before and text after uh, quite a bit more. So let's take a look at how these functions work, and then I'll explain why I like those uh, two better. We'll start with text split. Now, text split is still a great function. Don't get me wrong. There's a ton of uses for it, and I'll show some of those in this video. In this example here, we just have a simple column of first and last names or full names here. And we want to split that into first and last name. We can use the new text split function for this. So we'll just start typing text split and we'll tab into that. By the way, these are currently available for the Insiders beta channel for Microsoft 365, for Excel, for Windows or Mac, and they'll be rolling out to the other channels in the coming months. So if you don't have them yet, that's why, but you'll be getting them soon. Uh, so with text split, we're just going to specify the text that we want to split, uh, type a comma. Our second parameter or argument here is the column delimiter, what we want to split that by. In this case, we want to split it by the space, and we're going to wrap that in quotation marks. So I just have a space here between quotes. And then that's all we need for text split. There are other arguments here, but those are all optional. We don't need those right now. Close the parentheses and hit enter. And that's going to spill out this spill range with the first and last name in separate cells. And then we can uh, drag the fill handle down here to copy it down. Currently, you can't double click the fill handle here with uh, text split or any spill range that spills horizontally. Hopefully that'll change in the future, but you can drag the fill handle down. And now you'll see we have all of the spill ranges here in individual rows that split out the first and last names. So text split is a really cool new function, and it'll save you a lot of time from using the old text to columns wizard or even uh, functions like left, mid, and right. However, there is one area where you will run into issues with text split. And on this sheet here, I have the same uh, full name list here in an Excel table. And if we try and use text split now, I'll just quickly do that. We'll go text split. Again, our uh, text is going to be that. Column delimiter will be a space wrapped between quotes. That's all we need there and hit enter. When we do that, we get a spill error. And that's because we can't spill uh, ranges into Excel tables. Here we have, again, a horizontal spill. You can kind of see that with the dotted line here. And that's not going to work in an Excel table, at least not yet. Hopefully it will in the future. but. As of right now, that doesn't work. So we need to find another way to split this text. So this is where text before and text after come to our rescue. In this example here, I have the same uh, column of full names in an Excel table. And let's see how we can split these out. Now, I should preface that I'm just using a very simple example of first and last name only here. I will show how to split three names. So if you have a middle name, I'm going to show that. And I'll also show some other examples of splitting things other than names towards the end of this video. So hang out for that as well. All right, so let's split these. So for this, we can use uh, text before to just split the first name. And let's see how to do that. So we'll type text before. As you can see, text before returns text that's before delimiting characters. So we'll tap into that. Again, we're going to specify the text, which will be this cell in the full name column. And then for the delimiter, we're going to uh, specify the same thing, which is that space in between quotation marks. And then we can just hit Enter and that will return our column of first names. Now, the nice part about text before is that it does not return a spill range. It just returns a single value here, and therefore it works in tables. Uh, for the last name, we can use text after. So text after is very similar to text before. It's just going to return the text that's after the delimiter instead of before. So we'll tab into that. Again, same arguments here for the text, and the delimiter will be our space in between quotes. We can hit Enter and that will return our last name. And again, same thing there. It returns the single value and not the spill range. So therefore, we can use text before and text after inside Excel tables where text split does not work in Excel tables. All right, so now let's take a look at an example where we have three or more names within a name. In this column here, you can see we have some just first and last. Some have a middle name here, and some even have uh, two middle names. And we want to split that out. So using text split, we'll start with text split here. And again, same thing here. We're just going to do the text, reference a text, comma, uh, and quotation marks. We'll put that space in there, and that's all we need for this. We'll hit Enter. That's going to spill out two cells in this case. But as we copy this down, 
you can see that sometimes we have three cells spilled like we do here, sometimes four, two, and so on. So with text split, it's not really going to split into first, middle, and last name columns. It's just going to give us a cell for each time it finds that delimiter. So sometimes we'll have three cells here in our spill range, sometimes we have two, and so on. So then to line these up into first and last name columns in a middle in between uh, can be challenging with text split. So let's take a look at how text before and text after can help us solve this. On this sheet here, I have the same data in an Excel table. And as you can see, I've split it out um, properly. So we have a first name column where there is a middle name. We have a middle name uh, here. If not, it's blank. And then we have our last name. So for the first name, we'll start with this one. This is the same text before formula that we saw previously. Very simple formula here. For the last name, we have the text after formula. And the only difference here is that we're specifying a negative one here for our instance number. So the instance number argument allows us to specify the instance number of the space. So if we wanted to uh, split this by the second space and return all the text after the second space, we could put a two here. When we put a negative one, it searches in reverse order. So it goes from right to left. And in this case here, it will return all the text after the last space in the string. So that's what's happening here. So we're getting our last name all the time here because it's always going to return the text after the last space. So then we're left with the middle. And the middle formula is a combination of the text before and text after function. So this one, is a little bit more advanced, but what I've done is I've put in these uh, hidden columns over here, I've kind of split this out because with this formula here, we're essentially going to look at it from inside out. So we're going to start with this text after and work our way out. So for the first part of this for text after, we're essentially going to take all of the text after the first space or after the first space that it finds here. And that's what's being returned here. Then we want to take the text before. So this second part of it, is we're going to take the text before and we're going to again go in reverse order and find uh, that last space. So we'll take the text before that. In the cases where there is no middle name, that's just going to return this pound value error and we'll handle that next. But where there is a middle name or multiple middle names, it's going to return all of the middle names. It could be as many middle names as are in there. It's just going to essentially take the text after the first day space, the text before the last space, and return everything in between. So that's what's happening here. And then again, we're just uh, wrapping this in if error to handle any error. So if it does return an error, we're just going to return a blank there. And that's exactly what we have in this cell over here. So that's that combined formula in this cell here, again, returning blanks where there's no middle name and where there's one or more middle names, it'll return all of those in the middle name column. So let's take a look at a few other uses for text split and text before and after uh, besides just splitting names. On this sheet here, I'm splitting out some file extensions. So I have a list of file names here and I want to return the file extension only. With text after, we can do this very easily. So here we're just splitting by the period or the dot and we've specified a negative one for the instance number. So again, we search in reverse order from right to left to find the uh, last period or dot essentially in the string here. And that's going to return the file extension. Uh, before we had text after, the old way of doing this in Excel, uh, was this formula here, or this is one way to go about it, pretty complex formula with a lot of different functions here, uh, just to split out and return the file extension or anything at the end of a string based on the last delimiter. So uh, text after makes this much, much easier. Now I also want to highlight some things that text split can do, because I've kind of made text before and after the favorites in this video, and I'll explain why. But uh, text split also allows us to split into rows, which is really nice. So here I have a single cell with all these comma separated values. And right here, I'm using the text split function. And we can also split into rows. So you can specify a row delimiter. It's an optional argument, but you can specify that instead of a column delimiter. And then your spill range will spill out into rows. So that's what we have here. And of course, we could combine this with the unique functions and sort functions and other dynamic array functions to help clean up this list. But this is great, very powerful stuff. Uh, another use is splitting between text and rows, which we have here. So here's a spill range, again, using text split. And here we're using both the column delimiter, which in this case is the colon space, which we have in some occurrences here of this comma separated list. And then for the row delimiter, we have a comma space. And so we're ignoring the empties, 
And then we've also padded with uh, the word no tag. So if there is nothing after the split, uh, the cell will be filled with the word no tag instead of returning an error. And again, here we're spilling into both rows and columns or a range. And this again is very powerful, very great use for text split. So which one of these functions is the winner? Well, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've been using these functions over the last few weeks, and I've been using text before and text after a lot more than I've been using text split. And it really comes down to two reasons, at least so far. And those reasons are one, we can use them in Excel tables. Like I showed in the video, uh, we can use those functions in Excel tables and they'll fill down the column. Text split, we cannot because it uh, tech tables cannot handle spill ranges yet. The other reason is that with text before and text after, we can really pinpoint what we want to do with those cells and how we want to split them. So in this example here, again, we looked at how we can get the first name into the first column, any middle names in the middle column and the last name in the last column, where with text split, we couldn't really do that. It's just going to split out and then we have to figure out other ways to kind of move around the data to get it in the columns that we want. So for me, text before and text after have been very useful kind of daily functions for any kind of data cleanup work. Now, I don't want to uh, say that text split is not useful. It's still an extremely useful function. I just know that it might overshadow text before and text after a little bit. So I wanted to bring some awareness to these two functions and let you know how they work. And I'd love to know your thoughts. Which one of these functions will you use most often uh, once you get access to them? And if you have any other scenarios of text you're trying to split out besides names, uh, feel free to leave a comment below with that as well and we'd be happy to create future videos on it. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and then head over to excelcampus.com slash free to grab our free Excel Pro Tips ebook. Thanks again for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.